Hi there, I'm David from DB Chartered Accountants. The clock's now ticking for subcontractors. In April 2023, they, along with all other self-employed people and landlords, will have to comply with the requirements of making tax digital. From this date, all self-employed businesses, which include subcontractors, will have to make quarterly reports of income and expenditure to HMRC, directly from bookkeeping that they will be required to do using making tax digital compliant software. This change will affect subcontractors harder than most, as historically, most subcontractors have not done any bookkeeping at all. They have also been averse to paying accountancy fees for full balanced accounts to be prepared. Instead, they have provided their accountants with the monthly vouchers that they have received from contractors that they work for, along with a list of expenses. And they expect the accountants to prepare their tax returns at the cheapest cost possible. As a consequence, most subcontractors have never done any bookkeeping whatsoever. Further, they may have never had any proper fully balanced accounts prepared for them. Accountants attempt to provide a minimal service in response to the minimal charges that subcontractors are willing to pay. When Making Tax Digital arrives, subcontractors will have no choice but to pay for Making Tax Digital compliant software, do bookkeeping on a regular basis, and do quarterly returns to HMRC of their income and expenditure. Following the year end, they will then need to have accounts prepared and corrections made for any shortcomings reported on their quarterly returns. These new changes will impose additional costs onto subcontractors. There will be the cost of the software that they need to use. Such costs currently are typically between two and three hundred pounds per annum, and you can only see such costs increasing. There's going to be a cost in terms of bookkeeping. Even if subcontractors do it for themselves, it will cost them in terms of time. To minimise the amount of time required to devote to bookkeeping, it's advisable to use a separate bank account for business transactions rather than using a single account for both business and private transactions. Eventually, penalties will be introduced to fine those who fail to submit the required returns within a month of the quarter end dates. As they will need more comprehensive accounts preparing, rather than simple income and expenditure accounts, which are often done currently, it's likely that they will also face higher accountancy fees than they do now. It is likely that some subcontractors will believe the myth advertised by the software providers that all they need to do is to use their software, which like magic will get everything done for them with amazing ease. Thus, some subcontractors will be tempted to do a DIY job and not have an accountant at all. Such subcontractors are likely to suffer a further cost, that is the cost of getting it wrong and either paying too much tax are alternatively overclaiming their expenses. The cost of HMRC's resulting inquiries into their accounts could reveal the false economy of such a course of action. Clients of DB Chartered Accountants are in the best position. We provide our award-winning debonair bookkeeping software to our clients free of charge so they get the best of all worlds. Not only do they obtain our simple to use software free of charge and free training and setup, plus preparation of full accounts for little more than they would have to pay for just the software. We advise all businesses to act now and get on board with digital software for their bookkeeping rather than avoiding the inevitable and waiting to do this only when they have no choice. If you would like to discuss your situation with us, please contact us on 01226 245824 for a free non-committal meeting. We feel that our significant investment into Debonair has placed us in a great position to be able to provide better value for money for subcontractors and owners of small businesses who will need to make changes to comply with making tax digital.
Thank you for watching this video. If you've not already done so, please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you're notified each time we make a new video. Bye for now.